and gentlemen, wherever you're watching around Australia on the Fox Sports Network, from Byron Bay to Broome, from Cairns to Carnarvon, or right here on the beautiful Gold Coast, it's main event time. Let's bring on the boom! Ten rounds of championship boxing for the vacant IBF lightweight youth world title. In the red corner, please welcome Glenn and Tarina. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly. Thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. And in the blue corner, please welcome Jacob NG.
introducing first, fighting out of our red corner. He weighed in at 59.95 kilos. Training under Neil Jimenez and Eddie Panasso. He fights out of the RCJ Boxing Gym in the Philippines. Please welcome Glenn and Torina. And in the pink corner, the blue corner, weighing in at 61.15 kilos. Training under Steve NG and Wally Coots, fighting out of the Matrix Boxing Gym. He is the current Australian lightweight champion, Jacob the Flamingo NG. Red corner, blue corner, come here, fellas. I've already given you both your instructions in the dressing room. Just going to tell you again, obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Touch them up. Back you go, best of luck to both. Good luck, fellas. And with the come force up. giving our fighters their final instructions. Ten rounds of boxing. The IBF lightweight youth world title on the line. All thanks to Ultra Chew. Main event, Nathan DiCarlo, IBF lightweight youth world title, Jacob NG, the local fighter in the blue, Glenn and Torina in the red from the Philippines. Yep. I just got to mention, Nathan, about the ring entry, the awesome, amazing, exciting ring entry that Jacob NG does. He told me it was for memory of a great friend of his, Jordan Ko, who used to fight in Thailand, and he used to do a ring entry similar. He tragically died making weight he said his ring entry up. the whole crowd will go quiet will go crazy so he does it in honor of his good friend jordan Cole. yeah you're 100 percent right there jacob ng mr perfect nine and oh with seven ko's will he continue that streak here tonight against a very tough glenn and torina time you know, will tell you know all the filipino fighters they're strong they're dangerous and they're tough and they always look to finish fights. They come with power punches, as we can see Glenn and Torino doing right here now. Swinging them in, he's got 14 wins, nine of them are by knockout, he's got four losses, two are by knockout and one draw. As you mentioned, Jacob, nine and oh with seven KOs. He mixes them up, this is gonna be a good, tough fight. There's no way by e any means an easy fight for Jacob NG. As this man is coming to fight, he's coming to Australia to take this title. Jacob NG, he knows what to do. He knows how to mix it up. He knows how to go to the body. Yeah, he's been very, very patient here as NG. He's, 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 he's copping a lot of punishment here. Or not a punishment. He's taking a lot of punches on his gloves. But now he's starting to open up himself. Just very, just very patient, waiting for those openings before he throws his punches. I asked him about his game plan. He said he's going to use his footwork at the start of the fight. He's going to watch those wild punches, which is obviously what he's doing here. He's going to hold his ground, and then once he gets in control of the fight, he's going to start walking him back, and his words were dominate him in all aspects. And that was a good uppercut there from NG. You know, this, this first two, three, even four rounds is going to be very dangerous for him because once he gets his punches off at his range, once he fights his range, He'll be okay, but it's going to be hard against this man, especially early in the fight. He's always in your face, looking to take your head off. Oh, I'm tearing off the punches to MG. It looked like he had him hurt that knife when he had him against the rope. The right hand, the left body shot was part of that combination. Yeah, good punches there from MG, doubling it up there with, with another great right hand. When in Torino, coming from the Philippines, he would enjoy a lot more activity than our boys here in Australia, especially yeah. coming out of the lightweight division. So that's a yeah. big thing, I think, Carly. It's a big thing, and he would have sparred hard, hard rounds, which is vital to a fighter. But MG gives all that he has, and he's a great fighter, and he knows how to go to the body. He's landing shot to Ali, and there's a shot right hand yeah. from Jock and Turner in the first round. Five. Don't be surprised, Max, if he looks to Seven. finish this fight in the first right. round. And, that, and that's what I want to see from the previous fight is he hit him once and he went back there again and he had success twice. Beautiful first round from Jacob NG. He didn't really use his footwork like he told me yesterday, but he couldn't because this man and Tuna was on his chest frame bombs. So he answered. 
He came back, he counted, and he was able to hold his hands up, block most of them like you mentioned, and then he was able to find his shots, and he's a sharp puncher. And what an opening round it was. Glenn Interina came out all guns blazing, like a bullet out of a gun, but then Jacob NG stole the pace from him and started to dictate it at the later end of the round. Look at these punches from, J from Jacob NG. What I like about him, he transfers his weight well. You can see him transferring the weight between each feet as he throws. Bang, that nice right hand there, and that was a short one that finished him, or sorry, I should say dropped him in the first round. He says he's all right. Referee Phil Austin asked him, are you right to start round two? He said, yeah, as all Filipino fighters would do. Yeah, no problem, bring it. NG, I should say, part Filipino as well. So he's got that fighting spirit in him as he starts his round off the jab, looking to land that right hand. Yeah, everything's going to start off that jab, especially when he holds all those advantages. He's 181 centimetres tall as a lightweight. Yep. That is a massive advantage compared to all of his opponents. And you look at him, he's got a slim frame, but he does deliver power. Down! Whoa! Hey, hey. That was a beautiful a right hand shot, right I believe, hand. by our Filipino Six, fighter. Seven, eight. He's You're got okay? to survive yeah, he's got one chance. He's got to Box. survive, he's got to run, he's got to hold him. Because here comes Antuna, and he's flying, he's landing big shots. Jacob NG is in trouble here. He's, he's looking to hold, hold his ground. He's looking to stand up. Antuna. Will he punch himself out? He needs to tie him up exactly what he's doing here. Right, coming in, coming in. He's what got a action pack fight, Nathan. He's still gone. He hasn't got his feet under him yet. He's got to survive. It's going to take him about 30 to 40 seconds. He chooses to punch back. Use his feet. That's good. Tie him up. Stop, wrestle him. Stop. Do hey. anything you can do. I call stop. Don't hit. Okay. His feet are still not under him, yeah, Nathan. Okay. Jacob's still on wobbly legs. He's got to hold on with all these might here. There's two and good, two and three good punches there from Jake, but I don't think he's 100% there yet. No Carly. way, no Stop. way. But like no, we no, mentioned, no. there's four rounds of danger down. from this Filipino no, no, fighter. No. At least four rounds where he's gonna come Box. with fallacious punches. Bang, here comes Jacob. What a main event we're watching. Nakam's any shot, he's hurt Adrena. Adrena's coming back with power shot. Jacob's gotta be careful. He chooses to fight, he chooses to hold his ground. Confident, as always, Ferry landing. Adrena wearing some shorts, he's got him on the ropes. Woo! What a one to the punches here for Keep both Ferry. boys. Makes it a fight. Stop. Stop. What Time. a man of fun. Come here, come here. Phil Austin slides it down. He wants him to keep box. it clean. But this is what the people came for. This is the man of it. Left, right from Jacob NG. He's a sharp puncher and he knows how to land. Bang, bang, bang. He's got to be careful of it. Tina's big shots. Because this Filipino has come for war. I still don't know if he's recovered well. He's still got to be careful. Hands, hands up, it's good to see. What you got, Nathan? He's just going to be very careful, like you said. Hold him best to the body. Keep him long. Keep him at the end of his punch. Keep his little fighter away Stop. from him. The thing is, both fighters are hurt. Both fighters are feeling the pinch. Both fighters are not fully recovered. Atina can get up. I don't know. If he doesn't get up, it's because he doesn't want to get up. Jacob could be forcing him to look for a way out. Okay. Tidy I have no up. doubt that Jacob NG Box. is going to force the pace right now. Okay. Time. Wow. Wow. Wee. Wow. Can you get more action <laughs> in one round? I don't think so. Woo. That was two of the most exciting rounds of boxing we've ever seen in a long time. Atina down the first round, Jacob down the second round, and here it is now, Bang. that short right hand counter over his jab. Look at him celebrating. But as you know in boxing, you cannot celebrate until the final, final bell. And that was 100% a perfect counter punch right hand, using all his weight against him to knock himself out. But the Flamingo, to his credit, he came back and more. Look at this. He's a fighter, Flamingo. He's a fighter.
Round three coming up. Action back first two rounds. Flamingo off the jab. Atina, no doubt, he's looking for that big right hand counter. Jacob's got to be wary of that. He's got to keep his hands up like he is now and do those little feints. He's got to use his distance as well, doesn't he, Nathan? Yes, he does. Because this is when he's dangerous, the Filipino fighter, yep. when he's close to his opponent. You know, uh, the Flamingo, he's got to be patient. He's got to start stinging with the jabs and, and, and make his fighter start chasing him. He can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him and give, give his opponent that advantage because he's so strong. He's a heavy puncher. He's just going to have something out there at all times. Even if he's tapping his opponent's gloves, he's keeping yep. him at range Stop. doing that. Time. Yep, yep. No okay. doubt, they, uh, so, Jacob's no, going to look for those stop body shots. To hold, you stop shoving them down. Just box, fellas. Box. Phil Austin calls it how he wants it. Doing a good job, our referees, tonight. Jacob NG off the jab. He's got to be careful. He's got to keep his hands up. I'd like to see a few feints too, Nathan. Yeah. Yes, yes. He can't be rushing in like he just did before. He got away with it that time, but he might not get away with it next time. But we know him. He's a fighter. He's fought in Thailand. He's grown up fighting, and he loves it. He loves to mix it. He loves to fight, but he's got to be careful. He's got to be careful. Beautiful combinations. Two to the body, one over the top. Here comes Etuina with his own right uppercut. Both fighters looking dangerous, Nathan. Doesn't he put on a performance every time for the crowd? Jacob NG. Stop! Stop! Time! Come here. No, stop grabbing his leg. Do you know, knows stop tackling. He's got a All fight right? on his hands tonight, as Box. does Jacob NG. Both of these guys bringing out the stop. best of each other. As the mouth guard of NG falls out of his mouth. Wow, this is an action-packed third round. Everyone can just breathe for a second. It has been that action-packed. I think people have forgotten to breathe. And the fireworks will begin now. And here comes NG back on. And here comes Antina as well, looking for those big right hands. But he's wearing some. The body shot can't get in there from NG. He's got to be careful, like you said. That's where he wants him, in the corner. He's got to land those punches and be careful. He does possess power. He's swinging them in. But how tough Stop. are Filipino fighters? This cannot possibly go for 10 rounds. You shut him down one more time. I'm going to take won't. a point off you. Do you understand? A little Keep your head up in there. Okay. You know what I mean? Box. You've got to do what you've got to do to survive in there and get things going your own way. He's looking for that right hand shot, isn't he, the Flamingo? Oh, and a good, good right uppercut catches the attention there of Interina. Here comes the Flamingo. Antina's trying to stand staunch. He's trying to say he's not hurt. But he's got to be feeling it as he chooses to punch back. Here comes the Flamingo. He's got him on the run, Nathan. He's firing left and right. And the Flamingo is coming. Oh, and he Beautiful gets hit with shot. the shot himself. This is the problem. Stop. Time. Antina was about One to point. say, can obviously point. not continue One point. taking these shots. I don't think this problem matters, like you said. This fight is not going the distance. There's no way this fight's going the distance. Fox! What are we going to see, Ned? What are we going to see? This... I can't... I don't, I don't think we can see more than what we've already seen. This is yeah. crazy. Wow. You know, Jacob Inji told me yesterday, this is definitely not going the distance. Look at, look at uh, Adriana. He's just timing it. He's just timing. Filipino fighters are tough. And this is the definition of fighting fire with fire. Look it up in the dictionary. It'll be a picture of these two. Exactly. You know, you always know when you fight a Filipino, you've got to fight on your hands. Here's NG opening up against him on the ropes. And it was after one of those shots that Interina was able to land a big left hook. He's here, centering, is the Filipino man. Glenn Interina, he's banging his gloves together. He's saying, come on, bring it. 
and he comes and throws a big left hook as he's been doing this whole round. NG's got to be careful. Yeah, round four of ten starts well for NG with a great uppercut and a left hand to follow. That's what he's got to do. He's got to box wise and choose his moments to land those shots. Not do what he's doing and just go in and look to land big shots. That's a tuner's game. But sometimes he's got so much fight in him, that's all he wants to do is just land and fight and stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. That's Jacob NG. And he's got to be careful. And that was a good combination. Left rip, left uppercut, both connecting for NG. And a big right hand as well there from NG. Beautiful right hand, but Atuna's tough. He's looking for his left hook, you watch. He's looking to land that counter left hand whenever he can. And he'll throw it like a rocket. But NG's doing well, keeping him at distance. Nice right hand, another one. Left foot right to the body. There's a left foot by Mitchell. He's got to be careful. Angles are good. Left up the cut. Jab. Martin is still there. He's still in this fight. He would have sparred hundreds and hundreds of rounds in the Philippines with tough fighters. It looks like he's gained his head back completely now, Carly. Yep. The Flamingo. He looks very clear. The clarity's there. I must say, same with Ventrina, and he's taken a lot of shots, but he's still there, and he's still dangerous. Look at the poker face on this man. He walks right up, he wants to throw those big punches again, but he's wearing a lot. His attack is better than his defense. NG's defense is holding up so far, it's doing good. Beautiful uppercut, an uppercut's the punch that's hard to take for most people. Beautiful little body shot there. He's mixing his punches up well, isn't he, the Flamingo Nathan? He's going to the body, the left, the right. And he's varying the pace on him too sometimes. He, 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 a couple slow, then a couple fast, and he changes it up well. And stop. it's stop. really knocking the motion of Enterina because Hell, he doesn't know what's coming. A little bit of experience there from him. He's just leaning on him when he can. This is what this Filipino opponent possesses. Big left hooks, big right hands, and big heart. And here comes NG with a variation of punches. To the body, to the top, to the head, the uppercuts, the hooks. He's feeling the pace as well. And this is where he needs to be. How long? Sharp shooting. What you got, Nathan? What oh, you got? And Torino has taken more knocks than the front door. He has hit him with everything, the Flamingo. Here, oh, there's a slip. There's a lot Fox. of water in that red corner. What a fight. A spectator's dream. Punch for punch. What kind of tough is this Flamingo? And what kind of tough is Eterina? He's taken some big shots in this round. Wow. Whoa. And look at this, round four, it was one of the better ones. NG, continuously knocking the head back of Enterina. Look at this, every shot he throws, he connects. A spectator's dream, it's the Rocky movie all over again. How worried is this man, Mr. Stephen NG? He said to me yesterday, Stephen, that's the trainer and father of Jacob NG, he said, this is a winnable fight and also a great step-up fight that will improve him as a fighter. And no doubt, getting through this fight, if he can be victorious tonight, it will improve him. Whoever wins or loses this fight, they will both improve as fighters because these two have brought out the best in each other. You need to clean this corner. You got to go. I'm, what's concerning me is the accumulation of the shots he's taking. Can you just make sure he's okay for me, please? Right. Okay. Doctors are there. Turn in. Box. Their pay tonight with their stethoscopes. And here come the boys, NG and Etuna. What's this? Round four. Action-packed fight. Round four of ten.
Will this one go the distance? I don't think so. I do not think so. It's like the Flamingo told me last night, he reckons it won't go past five. But I don't know if he knew about the toughness of this man in front of him. The willingness to punch, the willingness to throw, Etienne's showing. NG as well. Stop! Line off it. You've got to keep your head up. No, no, keep your head up. Box! Wow. Etienne knows nothing but left hooks and right hands and fight. He's brave, he's tough, and he's dangerous. He's got NG in the corner now. NG moves out well. He's, he's got the variation of punches, has NG. He's got uppercuts, he's got hooks, and he's got the good movement. It seems as though NG's seen the punches a lot better now. He's, yep. he's sort of, uh, you can see he's got his eye in for it now, and he's starting to get his better shots off himself as well. That's exactly right, and a lot of that, I believe, is due to the angles that he's creating. He's moving out at different angles like there, so he's not letting Etuna be in a position to throw his punches. When he's straight in front of him, Etuna will throw. We can mark our words that, like oh, that. Look at those jabs, like sniper walk. Beautiful. This is what he's got to do. Pick this heavy, punching, flat-footed opponent off. Got it. You tackle him one more time, a point. Wow. The Lostons having to earn his money tonight, Nathan. Well, people have got their value worth just in this fight alone. Round five, as the last one, another cracker. Endless amounts of punches from both boys. But I, I, I thought that was an NG round, definitely. He started yep. picking his shots a lot better and started seeing Interina's shots a lot better. What I liked about NG in that round is their variation, the variation of punches. It was never just the one-twos. This man here on our screen right now, he's got two punches, the big right hand and the big left hook. But they are massive, massive punches. And what's going to stop those from hitting in G is those angles that he was yes, doing. Yes. The feints, the double jabs. He's got to be sharp. Let's look at the condition of it. Punches. He's in great condition. As Flamingo starts this round like he did the others with a double jab of right hand and a little left hook. Wow, Etienne is in some sort of great condition. He's always there, always ready to pounce, isn't he, Nathan? And what about the condition of Jacob NG to come down from that big knockdown? Perfect. Look at him, he looks perfect now. Yep, yep. He, it looks like he's just starting the first round. He looks like someone who spent his whole life growing up fighting, tie boxing, kickboxing, boxing. He looks like someone who's dedicated his life to boxing. With his dad as a trainer. And just round five, he's starting to warm up. And here comes Etienne again. They're slippery in that red corner. They wiped it between rounds, but there's still water on the, on the break, canvas. Break. Coming in, coming in. Those double attacks are working for NG. He hits him once, takes half a step back, and comes back on. He's, he's getting them every time. That's what he needs to do yep. more of. He's paying plenty of dividends. I don't think he needs to, or I don't think he should be looking for the knockout, looking to mix it. He should be just doing what he's doing right now. I like what I'm seeing. The jab, the punch, stay long. The nice punch again, stay long. This is where he can see that overhand right or left hook a mile away. And don't get caught on the ropes. That's perfect. That's beautiful from the Flamingo. I tell you, Nave, I'm always scared when a fighter leads with a jab and, and uh, leads with a right hand uppercut. I'm always a bit worried, especially with a bomber. You know what I mean? Exactly. Well, when you're leading with a right hand uppercut, that you, all your you're defenses are, are down. Yep. And, you're, and to throw an uppercut, you need to be close to your opponent yep. so you can get hit at any stage. Exactly. Beautiful angles and punch output from NG. He switched to southpaw. Few jabs here. Nice little fan. Back to Orthodox. He's throwing punches. And Tim is on the ropes. We know that little fit will come. But here comes the Flamingo. He's pouring it on the Flamingo. And Tim is still fresh. He's, got it. He's still dangerous. The body, the body, the body will work. The body. Here comes the Flamingo. He stopped the fight in the fifth round. That's the last one. And Tim is the pain. But the new IBF lightweight youth world champion is Jacob the Flamingo and G. The Flamingo has done it again.
veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say up again i got tired eyes need a cup of blend that's right in the am that's my only friend no light just the sun coming up on the horizon i lose track of time yeah i move fast and climb a new class divine yeah true passion shines and i'm through passing time i choose stacking dimes you snooze half the time while i move passing by uh. i work hard each and every day i get lost in the words i say i don't push pause no i push play I won't stop. Everyone at home has enjoyed it as much as we have. This was amazing. No need to go to the judges' court cards. Our referee, Phil Austin, has stopped the fight. The broken wound. Of two minutes and 13 seconds gone of round number six. The winner and the new IBF Lightweight Youth World Champion, Jacob the Flamingo MG. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Another fantastic night of boxing right here on the Gold Coast. You just saw it, Jacob NG taking out the IBF lightweight youth world title. And, of course, we saw Ben Kelleher successfully defending his Australian cruiserweight title. I'm Dave Bell of the Fight MC. Thanks for joining us. I hope you had a great night. And until we see you next time, keep your hands up. Good night.